be clear, there is not one right way how to sit behind the cello, but there are many ways how not to sit. For me, a wrong way to sit behind the cello is most obvious if it makes your life as a player more difficult and if on the long run it causes your body harm. In order to play the cello as well as you can, you should position yourself in a way that helps you bring out the best of your body, soul and not at last of your equipment, which is bow and cello. But the right way is very personal as there are different body types and different sizes of body and limbs. All a teacher can do is try to help to find your way to feel well while sitting behind the cello. Find your own personal position which helps you master the cello even further. One big problem is that many wonderful players are wonderful in spite of having a very strange and not really economical position. First coming to my mind is Yo-Yo Ma, who is a wonderful player in spite of often playing in a position which should not be tried at home. As you could see in many of my explanations, I'm talking a lot about using as much arm weight as possible and as little muscle as possible. Am I succeeding? Not really, as you can see in my facial expressions when playing. And here's the dilemma. While we have to try to play our instrument as efficiently and economically as possible, we are not only playing the cello, but we are making music, we are expressing feelings, we are concentrating and yes, we do have to produce a sound, which even in pianissimo can be heard in a bigger hall. We have to find a good balance between being able to sit behind and play the cello in a way that allows us to take full advantage of our natural resources. The weight of both arms, being pretty grounded with both feet on the floor and slightly leaning into the cello, while playing with the energy and the excitement and the necessary body tension required from us as artists. Don't sit comfortably, but in a way that you could get up in no time. So definitely no leaning backwards, nor touching the back of the chair, but being on the edge of your chair, even if you have to play a Wagner opera for five hours. Believe me, your back will thank you one day. I did mention in another video blog how my physicist in Berlin, the Rolfer Adjo Zorn, saved my lower back because he worked on my breathing, my walking and the way I sit and I recommend everybody to try the following. When you sit down on a chair, yes, on the edge, try to sit on your sit bones, the so-called ischia.